What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Oakland A's versus Pittsburgh Pirates Major League Baseball matchup going down Monday, April 29th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam season pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the waiting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and yurfies and my first five plays, as well as plays that I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, lineup changes. Right now, $1,000 unit bettors are up over 37 units over the last two weeks. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, text 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Oakland A's and the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Oakland A's sending out Joe Boyle to the mound in this one, while the Pittsburgh Pirates will counter with Bailey Falter. And uh, Joe Boyle, you know, a 7.06 ERA, but has not pitched as bad as that ERA would indicate, you know, at least over his last couple starts. Um, you look at his last four outings. The one bad outing was against the Cleveland Guardians. He gave up seven runs on five hits over six innings of work, three strikeouts, and four walks. But in the three starts surrounding that, he went five shutout innings and a win against the Detroit Tigers on the road. Five innings of one hit, one run ball, gave up five hits with five strikeouts in a loss to Washington in a game where the Oakland A's uh, were, uh, were defeated three to one. And then, you know, he had the bad start against Cleveland. And last time out against New York Yankees, Two runs allowed on three hits, six strikeouts, and four walks over just three innings of work. Struggled with with long at bats, drawn out at bats, and um, and uh, and and some walks. And that starts he threw eighty five pitches in the three full innings. But even then, you know, it was a, it was a game where the bullpen just couldn't you know keep them keep the A's in the game once he left. You know, left after just giving up two earned runs, and it was a seven three victory for the Yankees when all was said and done. So. Now he's going to have a test here against the Pittsburgh Pirates team that has definitely cooled off offensively after a nice start to the season. You know, we saw the same thing with the Pirates last year where they came out of the gate strong over the first month of the season and then tailed off the rest of the way. Right now, the drop-off just came a little bit sooner than it did last year. Uh, But right now, you know, in the last 10 days against right-handed pitching, the Pittsburgh Pirates sitting bottom five in baseball, hitting just 206, a 24.5% strikeout rate. Just not a good look for the Pittsburgh Pirates right now, and um, you know I think that uh, I think that those struggles could continue here. And I think Boyle could have another solid outing on the other side of that coin. Bailey Falter has been solid as well, a lot better than I've given him credit for over the last few years. Falter, I still think of Falter as you know the pitcher that went winless. I think over an entire season, or you know last year he went two and nine with a five point three six ERA. Um, so, you know, he's pitched better two and one with a 3.33 ERA this season. He had the one, uh, the one rough outing against Miami in his debut, but since has allowed four runs over his last four starts, a combined, uh, 23 innings of work and some tough competition in there as well. Milwaukee, the Mets on the road, the Phillies on the road, Baltimore at home. So I got to give, you know, Pittsburgh and, and Falter the credit where it's due there. I do lean towards Pittsburgh for a side here. The problem for me with Pittsburgh is, like I said, the batting average against righties when Oakland struggling against lefties as well. I think this is going to be a match where there's just going to be a lot of offensive ineptitude. There's going to be a lot of missed bats, a lot of missed opportunities, a lot of runners left on base potentially. I think this could be a first to three wins, maybe a first to four wins, like a four to three kind of game if that. So I'm going to take the under between the A's and the Pirates here, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.